Today, on Fishing with Gussie, we're chasing big northern pike under the ice. Lots of good fishing action, lots of good tips. You don't want to miss it. Fishing with Gussie is proudly sponsored by and uses Shimano rods and reels. Visit Shimano.ca for all the specs. This is spot. We're there, buddy. Yeah, yeah. We're, uh, we're out today. I got my good buddy, John Peterson from Northland Fishing Tackle with me, and we're gonna chase big pike. And it's late in the season, as you can see, all the snow's melted off. It's, it's really the prime time to ice fish and one of those last days that we're gonna be able to get out and big pike is on the agenda. So we're gonna put some tip up rigs down and show you how to catch big pike under the ice. JP, what do you figure, buddy? Looking forward to it, it's the time of the year. Late ice, those pike are moving into the shallow bays, into the creaky areas. Yeah. And I know that you know this lake better than anybody else. I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> so you find the bottom, and then I just like to wind it up, you know, a couple feet there, I'm picking up the bait. Get it a foot or a foot and a half off bottom. Fairly close to the bottom, but so it's up a little bit off and you can see it and that's it. When a fish bites, it pulls that thing, flag goes up. So we are all set. You gotta be athletic in order to uh, beat your buddy to the tip up sometimes. Yeah. That's why I'm a little bit worried about that. He's got the longer legs <laughs> and uh, the younger body. <laughs> but I've got the experience. And there you go. He's got the eagle I got eye. the gray hair. <laughs> you know, we've, uh, yeah, so we've got all our tip ups set and it's just kind of a waiting game now. You know, obviously it's a really nice beauty day today. So we're just gonna hang out, you know, out on the ice and enjoy our day. But if it's, you know, if it's one of those days where the weather's maybe not that nice, you can go sit on shore, get a fire going, and cook some smokies up, and and uh, it's it's sort of a real relaxing way to fish until you hook up, because you can catch the biggest fish of your life doing this. Oh, flag up, Gussie! Oh yeah, look at there that. There we go. Cool. You can see the She's spool spinning. spinning right now. There's a fish taking it. Cool. So yeah, we'll just pull it out. Virtually what we do is... We got him? Nah, no, he let go. He did, eh? Yep, darn it. Oh, there he was right there. He followed it right up, too. Yeah, let it sink back down. Oh, we got a hook caught on the ice. Yep. I don't know if I should stick my hand in there. He might bite it off. There was one uh, hanging on to it there that it wasn't very big pike. Big enough to take the flag down. and. And then <laughs> normally on these rigs you can you can set the hook right away. They got two big treble hooks on them. They're called a quick know, strike rig. Quick yeah. strike rig, and and that's and, yeah. You don't have to let them run all day with it. You you hit. They all get those hooks in their mouths. And a lot of times when you do miss them like that, there's a good chance that it probably is a smaller fish. And it's not one of the big. I could actually see him down there. He was actually holding on to it when it uh, when I pulled it up. It looked like about a oh six or eight pound pike. Yeah. Yeah, he's peeled off quite a bit of line. Huh. Well, 0 for 1. Yeah, 0 for 1, and, but normally the, the percentage of hookups are, are probably, uh, you know, about 80%. It's actually quite high because uh, we're using treble hooks and actually a double, 
a double hook, a treble hook rig, so yeah. the, the hookup rate is actually very, very high. And that's yeah. very unusual. Like Gussie was saying, this probably was a small pike anyway. Yeah. Looked like a, you know, a, I don't know, probably a high 20 incher to me. Okay. Not that big. We not the ones even, we're, we not the ones wanna, we're targeting. We don't even want to uh, play with gills ones. They're just going to cut our fingers all up. There you go. After we get settled in, the flags start flying. Don't go anywhere. Hey, get over here. I got a hot tip for you. Shimano has redesigned the Cronart, Corrado, and Sitica beak cast reels to sustain and stratic spinning reels, as well as the crucial Compre, Claris, and Convergence line of rods. Get down to your local dealer and check it out. Competitive anglers, watch for the Shimano Platinum Angler Program. They've got some great rewards for anglers that use Shimano products. There's no place like this. Why should you choose Remmer Roofing? Maybe because they guarantee a free estimate within 48 hours of the initial call. Or because they're quality BP certified installers with a lifetime warranty on materials. You choose them because they have a 10-year workmanship guarantee with special rates for contractors and have been family owned and operated since 1988. They honor their scheduled commitments. But best of all, Rema Roofing does it right the first time. Countryside Manor Bed and Breakfast. It's a place to call your own. With a breathtaking view overlooking beautiful northwestern Ontario, you'll find all the peace, quiet, and comfort desired for a wonderful stay. The Countryside Manor Bed and Breakfast offers all your favorite conveniences and with a delicious breakfast that can't be beat. You'll want to come back again soon. Call today to make your reservations or visit our website to find out more. Countryside Manor Bed and Breakfast. Stay with us. You deserve the best. Looking for fishing tackle and friendly one-on-one -on -one service like nowhere else? You'll find it at Bobby's Corner and Sport Shop, where all the big fish like to play. Check out the big catches coming out of Bobby's Sport Shop. Wall to wall, Bobby's is packed with thousands of musky, bass, and other baits and lures, guaranteed to give you the cutting edge advantage. Bobby's Corner and Sport Shop. Highway 17, Vermilion Bay. Why would you go anywhere else? Okay, when it comes to rigging up for big pike late in the ice season, there is one way to catch big, the most big fish, and that's using these tip-ups and quick strike rigs. Today I'm using a Northland Predator rig, and it's just a hanger style of setup. And the bait is a big Cisco. These are the predominant big bait fish in most of our lakes across northwestern Ontario. And all the big predator fish eat them. Uh, pike, muskies, lake trout, walleyes will eat these things. And pike love them. We've tried live ones and they never work as good. They like these big dead ones. I like to put one hook in the head of the bait and that's where these pike will hit it a lot of the time. And then one just behind the dorsal fin and that's going to hang it in a real nice realistic manner. One thing too that you got to do to sink these is I've taken a knife and poked a few holes in the fish right along here and you put them in the hole and just kind of squeeze them and you can see the air bubbles coming out of them and then that's going to cause them to sink. So I like to set these big tip up baits about a foot off the bottom and some people, you know, you can try them right up under the ice, you can try them suspended. We're in fairly shallow water right now, it's about five or six feet deep and I like just putting them about a foot off the bottom and they'll uh, They'll get them. When you, now, when you set up the tip up itself, you uh, you want to hang. I thought I had a bite there, but I didn't. You hang the line across the the little spool, put it down the hole, and then you set the take the flag and just put it under that clip. And when a fish when a fish strikes, it's going to set that off, and the flag goes up. We know we got fish on, game on. So. That's the setup right there. Let's go. 
Flag up. Cool. What do we got here? Ooh, he's ramming some line out. Whoa, <laughs> it's slippery. There we go. You got him? Fish on. It was still very big though. Come on. You never know what you're gonna what you're gonna run into this time of year, that's for sure. I don't feel very big. Did you drop it? Might have. Very, very light. Now nah, he's there though. I don't think he's very big, huh? Yeah, he's. Yeah. <clears throat> Not a little one, but not a not a big magnum either. We'll get this mess. Not the big up. one we're looking for, but still a nice pike. <laughs> there we go. Huh? Cool. Yeah. That's what it's all about, man. We got to get some action and they're nice, nice size fish. This is normally the kind of fish you catch on a little a jigging spoon or a, uh, normally with the big quick strike rigs and the big suckers and and bait we're using, you know, we're really targeting fish in probably the 10 to 20 pound range. Uh, this one here doesn't quite meet that grade, but no, but it's still, still a pretty nice one. Still yeah. a nice pike and fun to catch. Right on. Well, drop them. Let them go back. Grow up and tell Mama if she's <laughs> hungry. We got good food. Good we got treats groceries for her. For her. There, there we go. go. All right. Good job. Not a small one, not a small one down. <laughs> well, John, for those of you that don't know, is a really good friend of mine. We've done a lot of fishing together over the years, and he started Northland Fishing Tackle out of his garage back in the... Back in 1975, it actually started the business. Uh, so you put a, you know, you figure out how long ago that was. It's going, it's going on, you know, high 30 years right now. So uh, time is really flying by, but it's been uh, quite a venture and uh, exciting to be in the fishing tackle business. Being an outdoors guy, you know, I always wanted to figure out how to uh, make a living doing something that was fun. And yeah. I just uh, got a few lucky breaks uh, when I was a young kid and, and got into the fishing business. And uh, it's just been a, uh, so fun and enjoyable, you know, to spend time in the outdoors, uh, you know, testing lures, designing lures, and hanging out with guys like you. Well, you know, some of the most famous jigs and, and things that they've, John's designed and come up with are the Whistler jig, which is obviously very popular around here. My dad doesn't use anything else when he goes walleye fishing. He uses Whistler jigs and fireball jigs, you know, has been around for a while. That's a lot of people's favorites. And that's uh, really one of the funnest parts of my job, you know, is being out in the field, uh, with a lot of our pro staff people and, and just rubbing shoulders with uh, guys like Gussie. And, uh, you know, we don't come up with all the ideas, but we rub shoulders with guys like Gussie and, and our pro staffers, and they give us a lot of great ideas that we actually utilize to yep. incorporate into our lures. Yeah, you, know, you make lots of good stuff and you've helped people catch a lot of big fish. So the bright yellow package is the, is the deal. Everyone knows what it looks like. It's all about, uh, you know, fishing, you know, to me is uh, all about, you know, having a lot of fun and getting enough fish for a fish fry at the end of the day and, and enjoying good. it with, with friends and family and, uh, and, you know, out here in the great outdoors. I mean, this is what it's all about for me. It's, it's, uh, it's, my, it's been my life and a big part of my life and uh, this is, uh, doesn't get any better than this. No. Well, we got a nice day, one of the last days we're going to be out on the ice, so let's, uh, hopefully this pike will come back and his grandma too. We're looking for a grandma. <laughs> All right. Grandma, grandpa. Don't miss this, it's coming up next. Hey, get over here. I got a hot tip for you. Shimano has redesigned the Cronart, Corrado, and Sitica big cast reels to sustain and stratic spinning reels, as well as the crucial Comfrey, Claris, and Convergence line of rods. Get down to your local dealer and check it out. Competitive anglers, watch for the Shimano Platinum Angler Program. They've got some great rewards for anglers that use Shimano products.
Napa Auto Pro. Keeps cars and sometimes their drivers young a long time. There's no place like this. Lund boats have been built for anglers by anglers since 1948, so they know what they're doing. I rely on them for all of my fishing, whether I'm in a tournament, guiding, or just going out for fun with my buddies. They have the best warranty in the business. You owe it to yourself to go check them out. Head down to your nearest Lund dealer. They'll be able to look after you. Good fishing. I'm Stuart Naniska. Hi, I'm Diane Naniska. Uh, we fish the local tournaments around Kenora. Usually we're pre-fishing with our grand grandchildren. Uh, usually they're screaming, yelling, and swimming, and, and causing trouble in the boat and everything. Uh, we also fish the KBI now for five years. Um, we, last year we ended up seventh on the last day and uh, ended up 13th overall. Uh, we were pulled through the tent with our grandchildren and uh, they totally enjoyed doing it. Hey folks, we're in Kenora today visiting with Conservation Officer Steve Harkoff. Uh, he's going to go over some of the general rules and regulations that some anglers maybe are missing out on. Some of the, the enforcement issues that he runs into the most out there. And he's going to show us how to measure fish properly. And uh, we're going to all learn something here. So, Steve? Sounds good, Jeff. Well, to start, everybody knows they need a, a fishing license nowadays. There's all kinds of different ways in which you can buy a license. But one of the common uh, themes that we run into out there is people forgetting to bring their license with them while they're actually fishing. It is a violation uh, to do so, uh, and you could be fined uh, if you don't have your license with you. People leave it in their truck, leave it at home, and there's not really an excuse for it. That's why we get them. you got to have it with you, so now you know. Um, when it comes to measuring fish, there's slot limits in place across the region and I'll let you maybe explain why we have slot limits uh, generally and, and then we're gonna sh you're going to show us how to properly measure a fish and how you would do it you know, out in the field. Yeah, sounds good. Um, slot limits, uh, size restrictions in general, they, they were made to protect the uh, fish that are meant to spawn. Uh, the spawning size fish so that's the reason for for size restrictions there's different size restrictions depending on what water body you're fishing uh, and sometimes different species as well we're going to make him get his hands dirty here now and measure this this pike and explain uh you know sort of the the situation with that particular fish it's important that you have a good measuring device make sure that it's accurate so i've got a ruler here set up inside of a uh, an old eaves trough, but when I'm measuring these fish for regu regulation purposes, I'm measuring the total length, and that's the way the regulations work. So right from the tip of the nose to whatever the longest measurement is on the, uh, on the fish. It's important that you do have accurate measuring devices because when we come along to check, we're, we're gonna use uh, uh, the most accurate means possible. So when you're measuring this northern pike here, right from the tip, to the end. A northern pike has, uh, has two lobes on its tail, so it's not the fork length where my finger is here, it's whatever the total longest length is. So you see one lobe is actually longer than the other, so I would measure the, the bottom lobe because it is longer, and it's uh, 85.6 centimeters. For some people coming up here to fish, the highlight of their whole trip is to get to have a shore lunch or two during the week and you know maybe just address some of the things that people maybe are unclear about with shore lunches. 
Yeah, uh, some things that some people are unclear about is being able to eat fish, say for lunch, and then continuing to fish during the day and uh, catching and keeping more fish of that same species. Mm -hmm. It would be illegal to do so. Your daily limits are outlined in the regulations. And if you've eaten fish for the day, whether it be walleye, we'll use walleye as an example, mm -hmm. uh, and you were to eat a, a few walleye that day, those count towards your, your limit, your total limit for the day. So a normal walleye limit for a resident would be four. If you were to eat two in the afternoon, if you were to go out, you could only keep two more that, that specific day. And keep the slot limits, whatever they may be, in, in mind as well. Yeah, there's all kinds of different regulations surrounding that, but when it comes to numbers, your daily limit cannot be exceeded uh, even, mm -hmm. even once fish are eaten. Okay, so there you have it. If you have a shore lunch and you go back out fishing in the afternoon, you can only keep as many as what's left on your license for that, for that day. All right, thanks, Steve. You know, we really do have a lot of great fishing opportunities. So instead of stockpiling fish, go out, catch some, eat them fresh. They're a lot better that way, and, and there really is no need to, to really pile up fish in your freezer, especially if you live around here. The heat is on as we mix things up and get a hold of another giant. Power Pro Super Slick 8 is smooth as silk and cast like a bullet. Enhanced body technology makes it thinner, stronger, smoother, and quieter. Use brown in the wood, green in the weeds, and yellow for high vis fishing situations. Power Pro Super Slick, unleash the power with none of the noise. Everything you'll need to keep your engine running this winter can be found right here at Devil's Gap Marina. They're full service and open all year round so you can relax in the car and keep warm. Or not. All of those convenience store items with none of those convenience store prices. From snack foods to fishing lures, service with a smile and the most affordable gas on the lake. Devil's Gap Marina located at the end of Matheson Bay Road on beautiful Lake of the Woods. Biggest pike that I see throughout the year are always oh, yeah. going to be under the ice. CJBN, your Sunset Country Superstation. Goodyear, chosen to get through tough winters. And the tire dealers you choose for great service trust Goodyear too. Their experience with winter tire care inspires the expert service they pass on to you. Goodyear, more driven. The time to take to the water is now. Wood Lake Marine will help you hit the lake in style as their high quality marine products are sure to please. Let their award winning staff tour you around their showroom of top of the line new and used boats and other recreational products that are sure to exceed your expectations but not your budget. Wood Lake Marine delivering the ultimate boating experience. Call or click today. you have on there. <laughs> Jay came out to join us today and he's just jigging while we got our set lines in. Ooh, it's a nice one. You know when we're talking about locations and trying to find these pike early in the year, whoa, it's all about uh, you know thinking about those shallow bays. These pike are moving up shallow. They spawn immediately after the ice goes out so they're making their way. We're at the entrance to a shallow bay here right now and that's where these pike are heading to spawn, the big ones. Nice big Whoa. one. Wow. <laughs> wow. There we go. Good deal. Super. That's awesome. <laughs> Little rattle, rattle bait. Yeah. That's sweet, man. Nice fish. Yeah, it's all about timing, getting yourself in the right positions. And uh, 
this this thing was caught in a loud loud rattle bait, and sometimes it's all about bringing them in. Lake of the Woods special. Yeah, and it's I, John and I. You know, we're all allowed to use two lines when we're ice fishing. So JP and I, we're both soaking those big tip ups. That's our highest percentage for getting these big fish like this, and even bigger ones. And Jay decided he's got one tip up in and he's jigging with his other rod and hey, the jigging just paid off, so that's good. Always be open-minded. Yeah. He's got a, something here, he just swallowed here recently. You can see a great big bulge in his belly right there. Yeah, that's sweet. All right, well, get Forging her back. heavy. Let these big, big pike go. You can see the weather's changing. We're getting a little bit of cloud moving in and the ice is just getting black. This is probably gonna be our last day out on the on the ice for another season and it's, it sure came fast. Um, a, you know, a week and a half ago, there was still a lot of snow out here and it's it's been, you know, in the upper 20s for temperatures every day this week. So crazy, crazy and it's melting and it's just not worth it to to stick around out here Chance too many any longer. Days. Yeah, she's getting a little, little bit dicey, I would call it. Yeah, it's yeah. it's on the edge. I actually have a couple guide <laughs> trips the next few days and I've just been on this on my cell phone putting the kibosh on it. We're uh, we're just gonna bail it out and get the get yeah, the big safety, ready to put Safety in the you get too late in the season like this and with the, all these warm temperatures hey, coming in. Got a flag. Oh, flag up! <coughs> Come on, guys, let's get this big one. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Not spinning, but Oh, no, he dropped it. Nothing there? Nothing there. Darn it! <laughs> They've just been kind of finicky today. We've had a few of those drops and we're using big baits and we're targeting big fish. And uh, you know, if you want to catch oversized pike in the, the, the late ice season is the time to do it. You get out in front of these big shallow bays and I don't care what body of water you're on, anywhere across the ice belt, you can, you can find these, this is the time of year to get those big pike and those predator rigs that you guys have designed are heavy duty. You can handle big fish on them. Guys are using them for muskies even in the yeah, open they're, water. They're, you know, they're, they're, they're built with wire so they're really bite proof and designed for the toothy critters, you know, especially northern pike, you know, and muskies. And you catch trout on them and we also get some big walleyes on them every, every now and then. You get a big yeah, walleye too. Yeah, yeah, we've seen that happen. But okay, well, we're gonna get some rain here sooner than later, so I think we're gonna start packing up and get off the ice before it gets dark tonight, just so we're not uh, risking it too much. But been a pleasure, JP. Thanks hey, buddy, for, thanks fun for fishing coming up. We've had a good couple days of fishing and yes, we uh, have. had some fun, so. Got a few pike. I guess it pays to keep an open mind. Jay showed up, dropped that rattle bait down, and got a got a yeah, pretty got nice a beautiful one. Pike, absolutely did. And uh, and then we got you know one nice one and a couple drops on the tip ups. Been out for a couple hours this afternoon, and that's that's, that's fishing. That's fishing yep. So you don't get them all the time. Uh, we're always looking for the biggest fish in the lake, but you always don't get them. <laughs> fishing with Gussie proudly uses Power Pro Super Slick line. All of the power with none of the noise.